Hello, my name is Brett from Bearded Man Studios, and today I'll be talking about the Network Contract Wizard. Basically, the Network Contract Wizard is for you to create your network objects in an easier process. So I'm going to go through it by opening up my Contract Wizard. You can either do Control G or go Window Forge Networking Network Editor, and you're going to go to the Create button. You're going to type in a name for it. For this, I'm going to make some cube examples. So I'm going to call it Cube. And in my fields, I'm going to say my Y position, and I will make it a float. And my RPCs, I'm going to make a hello world RPC, and I'm going to have an argument of string. So I can pass in string as an argument. So I'm going to hit save and compile, and I'll do its magic. And there you go, in my generated folder, I will have a cube behavior and cube network object that I can derive from. So let's do that. Let's go to my test scene. In my test scene, I just have a basic spawner that I'm gonna work on after this. So I'm going to go create my cube first. So let's go to 3D object, cube. And I'm going to make a script and I'm gonna call this my cube. And open this up and my cube I'm going to let's I'm only gonna change my Y position of this so I'm going to get rid of my start and I'm gonna derive from my networked objects so to do that I need to make sure I'm using the right classes so using pretty man studios forge networking using beauty man studios forge networking generated and using Man Studios Forge Networking Unity. And these will give me the right files that I need to manipulate. So in my driving class I'm going to type cube and behavior. So I'm going to now just create some space and go to my update and in my update I'm going to set the position of my object based on the Y. So transform.position equals new vector3 transform.position.x and then this one I'm going to pass in my network object and it should have a Y variable that I created from the wizard and then comma transform position.z and then I'm going to do a check to make sure that I'm actually the owner of this object. And then down here, input network object send RPC. And this is where I would do my hello world RPC that I made that takes in the string. So the receivers, I'm going to set it to everyone that's buffered that's coming in. And I'm going to say as my message world. And if I press the up arrow, I'm just going to move my Y position up. And then I'm going to copy and paste this and do down arrow, down arrow. And if I do down, it will move my position down. And then I'm going to make sure that I implement my hello world class and do just a simple debug log hello space arguments zero plus an expiration point. So that will be it for my cube that I'm going to slap onto my game object. So here's my cube. I'm going to drag my cube to this object. And then I'm going to make a prefab out of this. I'm going to just drag it to my project folder. I'm going to go to my spawner, make sure I drag my cube to my spawner. And over here, I have it set up to spawn. I'm just going to say my scene. I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, make sure my uh, main menu is set to the first scene. The second scene is set to my test scene that I have. And I'm going to start from my menu. I'm going to build and run. OK, let's put this right here. I'm going to make this one the server host. Hit play here, make this one the client, connect. And over here, I'm going to hit return, enter, spawn my cube. I'm going to press up, and you'll see the cube move up. Press down, see the cube move down. I'm going to press spacebar, and you'll see hello world uh, be sent across the network. And that is it.
So thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful and there will definitely be a lot more videos to cover how to go through this process as well as updating it. So nothing is set in stone. Don't worry. There's going to be a lot more functionality and features that get this for you and so that you don't have to worry too much about doing this, uh, this process as it's going to be more automated. But that is it and your game is instantly networked.